Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to today's video. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about a peculiar use of MS Excel, and that is when you have to use images inside cells. So I have here a table that contains the item name, the a column for images, which I already have some inserted pictures, and then we have some other data from other columns. We already have filters going on here. And what I want to happen is that if I filter the data, let's say I'm going to select a certain branch from this column here, column C, I want the images to follow the cell where they originally were placed. As you could see, what happened here is that the images sort of like overlapped into each other. And it doesn't look nice, obviously. And this is not our intention for this kind of uh, data. So we want to make sure that when we filter data, the cells or the images will follow the cell that they are inside. So let's do that. Now, first thing is, of course, you have to prepare your table. And you may want to settle the images later. So put your data first and then allocate a column for your images. Also, please al uh, allocate certain amount of space for your images. Later, when we are going to paste or insert the image in our worksheet, we have to make sure that the image doesn't overlap with the cell border because that will create a problem. So if the images are overlapped to the cell borders, then uh, Excel sort of like doesn't know which cell exactly that image belongs to. So from here, we have already allocated some large space. And then we're going to go for insert. And just to let you know, I already pre-downloaded all the images that I need for this table, which you should do as well so that you don't um, download one by one once you make the worksheet. And then go to insert, go to the illustrations tab group. And then go to pictures and then click this device so that you can navigate your computer and find the images that you've downloaded beforehand. As you could see, you can select several images at a time. So downloading all the images first would be a good idea so that you do not have to insert the images one by one. So click insert. And you will have all the images in your worksheet. And like what I mentioned, the next thing that you're going to do is to ensure that the images are aligned on the cells that they belong to. So we're going to make sure that the images doesn't hit the border. And one way to ensure that this won't happen is to put borders first. So if you're fond of not putting borders on your cells. Well, this is the time that temporarily put borders because sometimes you're, you're not sure if the image is not overlapping. So having those black lines can guide you. So now we're making sure that the images are aligned perfectly on the cells. Scissors here. And then writing pad. So right now, if I just do this, and or filter this, I mean, it will still work the same way as what happened in the previous uh, worksheet. So if I filter them down, let's say Manila, click OK, it still is happening. Because we still have to do a certain step in order for the cell to ensure that the image follows it. So you have to right-click on one of the images. And then once you've right clicked, you should see their format picture. Now this will bring up the format picture pane on the right side of your Excel worksheet. And you have to navigate over here. So you have here several options like um, controlling the fill in line, you have the effects, you have picture. And for some weird reason, it's not actually in the picture. The picture tab is more concerned with like softening the image or changing the color of the image which you can do of course but for this video our target is to align the cell or align the image to the cell and that is the job of size and properties 
So we have to go to this size and properties tab. And then you have to go to properties. And you need to select this option here. So by default, all images enter the worksheet with this option move but don't size with cells and this means that your images will change their position when the filter happens so what you're going to do is you will move and size with the cells so that they will always be together with their cells so we have to do that one by one and as you could see you don't really have to right click again every image once you've right clicked the first time you simply have to go back and forth okay to make sure that the images have that property selected okay so we've already completed putting in the images okay in that setting and don't be confused with this option here that says locked. So this option here is more concerned when you lock the worksheet, okay, does it mean that will the images be clickable or not? Okay, so if you're familiar with Excel, uh, the locked here pertains to locking this, the images just like the way we lock cells. So if you're wondering what that exactly means, I will put a link in the comment section. Or in the description of this video so that you can learn about what do we mean exactly by locking cells or objects in excel so now let's give this uh, new table a try so let's drop down let's say from the branch so drop down and i'm going to select let's say manila and then click ok and as you could see, the images are aligned with their cells. So if I change, like for example, a try Cebu this time, another province in the Philippines, if I click OK, then the images will also update. If I show the show all the data again, they will all return to their right places. So that's how to make sure that the images you entered in Excel will always be aligned to the cell that they belong to. Now, I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you will uh, you would uh, you can help us by clicking the like and subscribe button and also, if possible, try to hit the notification button so that you can get alerted with new Excel tricks every time we upload a video it really helps the website so for now that's it everyone and i'll see you in the next video